G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, lately I've been doing a lot of work on the house, fixing up cracks and <laughs> remortaring bricks and having the time to do any machining. Anyway, I'm up the ladder rubbing down and of course all that fine powder from the filler floating around in the air and I thought it wouldn't it be good if I had a small vacuum cleaner that I could uh, hold next to the job and uh, suck it up as I, as I rub it off the wall. And I remember I had this vacuum cleaner, actually I had a couple of these, I haven't made these for a long, long time. It's a Hoover Dustette. And I had a couple of these and one was pretty stuffed, but this one's like brand new. But the fact that this is brand new. The other thing is it hasn't got much in the way of fittings. And I thought this would be okay. How many watts does it pull? So I had a look. 160 watts, so that's even better. So, you know, it's hard to find a small vacuum cleaner that doesn't pull a lot of wattage. So in this case, 160 watts, I could run that off of the um, uh, the power brick I've got. And also, actually I should be able to run it off of the cigarette lighter uh, plug inverter I've got. I think that's 300 watt off the uh, off the cigarette lighter so it should run off of that so I can use it for vacuuming out the car which either way either with the power brick or with the uh, little inverter it will save dragging cords around the place. Anyway I'm digressing. So I thought this would be good I can get take this up the ladder hold it with one hand and rub with the other suck up the dust before it floats everywhere and um, so I had a look at the nozzles I've got and here's one that's really daggy and I used to because I got an old hoover I used as a shop vac and you can see that's been on there and it's, it's pretty filthy that's no good but then I've got this one and it's not bad I thought that'd be good on there make a great car vac it's all you need you don't want a lot of hose I think it's the wrong size. So today's episode is make up an adapter so that this will fit that. So all we gotta do is get some aluminium or some tubing. Well I haven't got, I haven't got any tubing that size. So we'll get some out comb cast aluminium, machine it down to that diameter for this end, and machine it slightly bigger for this end. And we're good to go. As long as it's just a friction fit, that's all you need. So I was aiming for a snake fit. We'll have a look at the aluminium and see what's there. All right, here's uh, some of my home cast aluminium. It's pretty much all home cast. And you can see once again just how, how much money you're going to save by doing it yourself. You save a fortune. If you went and bought all that, <laughs> oh, Jesus, you know, it'd be a lot of money. So what have we got? That's the diameter, this is the length of the diameter, so we'll go with this. Alright, so here's a bit of home cast I just showed you. This isn't going to be anything fancy, so we'll just go 50-50 on the diameter split. So about there. That'll do. Oh. Yep. Carriage stop. Got to have the carriage stop. Much better than chasing bloody readouts all over the place. Okay, so now we just turn this down to the. Uh, oh, should I go outside or inside? I'll go inside because the other one's inside and it'll keep everything a bit more compact. So I'll just machine it until it slips on, then we're done. Well, that bit. So we'll just go medium feed and just uh, rip, it, rip it off. Actually, I think I'll get my chip deflector or my high check chip deflector will stop the things making a huge, huge mess in there. Right, oh, no, we're good to go. Thank you. I'll 
going so course feed and really rip it off. This is where the beauty of a quick change gearbox comes into its own because you can just speed up or slow in the process as much as you want. If you, got a, if you don't have a quick change gearbox, you're stuffed. It's <laughs> Stone Age. You've got to have one. Now we're going a lot faster. And we'll put a fine finish on later. Go. I'll come back when uh, we're finishing off. You see how it improves the finish. I'm using an aluminium. Cutting insert from Bangor, cheap one, excellent. Perfecto. Perfecto. That was it. centre out and before we do that we're going to do something we should be doing toilet paper stuffing up the chuck centre that will save a lot of chuck cleaning up afterwards bring your job out just a bit from the back and that will do it doesn't have to be, I mean this is no super precision job, but it'll be alright. That's okay. So now when we drill through, the cuttings won't get back up at the back of the jaws and you save yourself a lot of cleaning up. I mean you still have to clean up, but not like you would have to. It's interesting how close these Adapters are. That's the Hoover. This is the other one that won't go. There's not much in it. I mean, you can force it, but another thing I was taught, and if you want to get a smack over the head from a proper engineer, put away your calipers like that. No, you do not. You always release the tension, and uh, that way takes a load of spring but uh, yeah good way to get a smack on the head all right I'm going to go in with a half inch drill go right through
All right, now we go with the small shank drill. Uh, the next one up would be is bigger than I've got here, but it's not. It's only a short one, so I'll have to do the rest with the boring bar. That'd be no problem. So we'll uh, we'll do it. Switch to a boring bar. I'll just swap the head over for one. Okay, so we swapped over the heads, and now uh, let's go and set your carriage stop so they don't bottom out or crash anything. And we now we'll open up as much as we want them. So I'll get it out to about two mil. So there's quite a bit of machining to do here. So we go on the course once again, quick change gearbox, the way to go, keep saying it. And of course we've got a tiny lathe like a Sherlock, well it's, you can't expect to have one. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we're on the final pass. After this, we just do a bit of cleaning up and uh, cut off on the excess we don't want. And that'll be it. Right, let's see how well it uh, turned out. It's all pretty basic shit. Made it a snug fit. Hmm, a bit too snug. Ah, there we go, a bit of muscle power, perfect. That's it, we're ready to go. Yeah, it's that beer. So, I mean, yeah, try that without a lathe. I mean, they're so handy. You've got to have one. All right, that's uh, it from me. I'll see you next time. Cheers.